I'm gonna take this cover right off and put a new one. What's up guys and girls? Welcome back to the channel, M&K's Lawn Paradise. Yes, I am back with another video just to show y'all how to go about changing a fuel tank on your steel FS, FS76 Pro trimmer head. Uh, not trimmer head, trimmer. <laughs> if you haven't seen the video of me changing the hoses out of this trimmer, uh, I'll leave it in the description below or be in the card right here or right there. Make sure you go ahead and check that out first. Yes, you will see that I tried to, you know, I changed the hoses out, put a new filter on it and stuff like that. And I was just going to ride with it once the uh, once my season started and I started booming, cutting grass. I was just going to ride with it while it's leaking. The cap, uh, it leaks from the cap and it leaks from right here. I got it for free. My brother gave it to me. The guy caulked it up right here, and I was just going to roll with it. I was going to deal with it. But I'm like, you know what? Tank don't cost that much. This is 15 bucks off of Amazon. So I went ahead and purchased it. So you'll see me go ahead and install this. I haven't looked it up on the trimmer and see what I have to take off to install it. But that's why I got y'all to ride along with me. Um, as I take off the boats and stuff like that, just follow along. I'm learning it just as much as you're learning. So if I did it before and I, I have the steps for you, just follow along. Make sure you don't mess up if you have to change out the same trim or gas tank, whatever you got. So let's get into it. As you see, the fuel tank is right here. This is what we're changing out. It's pretty, pretty old, which is understandable. And I want to go ahead and put this one on there. This one seems a little bit smaller huh seems a little smaller but let me back up a little bit seems a little bit smaller than this tank but we're going to install it to see um as i was telling you right you know at the intro part got a little caulk right there let me change it so i was showing y'all that got that little caulk right here some caulk I don't know if you can see it, focus in on it. Um, I got it for free and it, it came like that. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna keep this fuel, I'm not throwing away my good fuel, and we are gonna make sure, the tank do look a little smaller. This one looks a little smaller than this one. So I'm gonna take this off, this boat. I already took that boat out because it was too long. I think we have to take this, uh, pull string off to get to the tank, but that's fine and dandy. Let's do it as you see him. First thing I want to do is go ahead and pour out my fuel to get this fuel tank taken off and uh, put the new one on. And I want to save my fuel, so I'm going to go ahead and pour it in this bottle and we'll be able to reuse it when we put the new tank on because I'm not trying to Waste it like I did on the last video. So I'm going to reuse this. You know what I mean? And it's just a little bottle. I did try, try to dry it out as much as possible. That little water shouldn't, you know, shouldn't hinder my fuel. But you want to find something that's dry to pour it in if she's going to save it and pour it back in there. So I'm going to put that on the shelf, get that out the way. save that fuel. Now let's go ahead and start getting this tank off. For sure what you want to do is go ahead and take uh, your Allen wrench here. I know for sure. Go ahead and get this uh, shroud off right here. This cover plate. Take this one off right here. Like such. Boom, 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 boom. Put that back on there. Get out my way. I'm going through the steps like I know, but we're going to we figuring it out as you as we go. That's kind of kind of what we do, right? Uh, for sure, we got to get this tank off, and I'm gonna show y'all that way. You know why I'm changing it out right now at the camera angle, trying to get the get the caulk and all that. What the other guy did, 
that gave he gave it to my brother the, this way. And you seen that I changed the holes out in it and it cranked up and stuff like that. So this screw is actually longer than I thought. Golly, come on now. Pretty long. You even belong in there? Might be a screw that don't even belong in there, but take that cover off, boom, just like that. The screw here, the screw there, the screw, one of these screws holds this on there, so let's go ahead and uh, see. You see that he got two different screws in there? Let's find it down. When you put something together to try to get it run, running, you do what you got to do, you know what I mean? You just do what you got to do to get it running. And that takes the hex screws, boom, like that. So, so after I get this tank, uh, this pull string off, I keep saying tank, pull string, I think it just holds in in the seal uh, rubber down there. So yeah, this is this is definitely put together and put together to make it run type stuff here. But that's fine, Danny. I'm cool with it. It's free. You know what I mean? It's a pull string. Make sure you don't lose your little. Make sure you don't lose your little gasket. I was gonna say and then popped out. Put that back in there, it goes like that, like such. See, two different screws in there. That's what I was telling you. But, like I said, it's put together. It's put together, you better enjoy your free. Tank comes out like that. And now what we have to do, we're gonna go ahead and uh, let me see, make sure which ones go to which. Okay, uh, fuel line is the one closer to the motor, okay? The fuel line is the one farthest from the motor. The return is the one closer to the motor, I'm sorry. And uh, we're gonna pull them off. Just make sure you know that so when, when you put this new one on there like that, you know the short one, the short one goes to, for the fuel line and the return is the longer one, okay? Fuel filter look like it's good. It's on there, it's the same fuel filter I hooked up on the last video and put inside the tank. So that is good, it comes with one when you buy the tank for 15 bucks off of Amazon. So we're gonna go ahead and stick that back in there. Uh, it's good, stick it in the tank, push it on in there, make sure you know it's back right. Make sure these are installed properly when, it, when you get it. That way it ain't leaking on you. You got the new, new cap. Uh, that last tank leaked and it was caulked right here. So just make sure, you know, when you buy it, you, it comes right. You know, you get what, you, what you're paying for somewhat. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and pull these lines off and uh, get the new one installed. It should just comes right off. It ain't going to come right off. I had to work it a little bit. That one came right off because it was loose. How about that? This new one that I put on, <laughs> it's gonna give me some trouble. So, take your eight millimeter and uh, let's get this, this uh, air filter out the way. That way we don't mess nothing up here because those hoses are still good. I installed those in a previous video. So, you know, I ain't trying to, Run these hoses, they still pretty good. Still pretty new. You know what I mean? So it's eight milli, eight millimeter socket to get this uh air filter cover off off your carburetor. So that's what we're doing here. It's best not to use a dang. You ain't gotta use a oh, losing stuff here. You don't have to use this. You get you a tool that to, to, to twist it off. It's eight millimeters. That's what I'm trying to say here, okay? Got your gasket. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Uh, let's pull that off the carburetor. Might need some pliers here to get that off. Let's take some needle nose. Got my needle nose. A little tough. We're gonna take it and get that on off of the off the carburetor. Put it on there pretty good. This is the new hose, matter of fact. All right, got it off. <laughs> a 
the tank off. Okay. Don't lose your rubber gum. Uh, don't lose that. Let me see and compare. Ah, uh, that's the same. It just looked bigger. It did look bigger. That's, that's the same size. See? Look at all that fuel that just got on me from the cap. And the cap is on there all the way. That's how much it leaks from the cap. Hopefully y'all getting it. All I did was take a few screws out to get this off and uh, take this tank off. Let me show y'all real quick before I put the new one on. See what I mean by he caulked it up right there? And it still leaks from right there. Let's put it on, tucking all that noise. All it's gonna do is sit right up in this, in these gaskets that I showed y'all. Put that in there like that. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we'll hook our hoses up in just a little bit here to the carburetor. What I want to do is get this tank in, put, put everything back on like this, like such, because that's what holds this tank in and screwed in. So let's put it back in right. Alrighty then, let's put that back right. Okay. Them screws started. What we do is take our Allen wrenches. Oh, not that. Take that X. Stick it on in there. Get it screwed back in there. Two different screws. But they work. And this just to install your tank back on and make sure it's sealed. I mean, make sure it's on there properly and it ain't, you know, going anywhere. Just make sure when you got them grooves on your tank, you put them in the correct gasket spots. Go ahead and hook our carburetor hoses up right here. Okay. Boom, one goes there. We have to pull that a little bit. And one goes here. Let's pull that out a little bit. It's a little shoved in there. Take our needle nose, pull it out just a little tab, not too much. The reason why we're pulling it out to make sure it goes on the carburetor, you have enough to go on the carburetor and you ain't, you know, short because if you ain't getting no fuel to the tank, it ain't gonna do you not a bit of good. And what we're gonna do is take our needle nose, stick it in there, and stretch it out just a little bit. Carburetor's on there, we're looking good. It sliced me up right here on my finger, that cable did. Put our gases in there, I had to pull some more hoses, hose out because the carburetor wouldn't come out without the hose being a little loose on there. The return looking good, we still got the fuel line up in there. Perfectly fine, they gave me enough hose on the, on the tank. Just had to pull some out to get it started. Alrighty then, we got the cable line. That looks good. Tank is on there. It is installed. The hoses are on there. It is installed. It's free. Why not use it? It's free. 99. Okay. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to go ahead and put the new carburetor on there. Why not? I'm going to take this carburetor off and put a new one. He said when he gave it to me, he had... He put the brand new one on there, but I'm putting a new one on there. Forget it. New one is going on there. I got it. Might as well use it. That one looks a little old and rusty. We putting a new one on there. Stay tuned. All right, we're putting a new one on. We got the two gaskets. Make sure when you put the carburetor on, I'm messing my dang cable line up. I'm straining it. Uh, this hole right here goes to the bub hole. Make sure you, you line it up. I say bub hole. Just so we can get fuel inside when you pump the bub. Uh, it should line up like that. And you have a gasket on this side. The other carburetor didn't have a gasket on both sides. So I'm assuming that's why it wouldn't idle the way it did. Or it just wouldn't get in a, you know, enough seal like, like it's supposed to. So we'll put this one on uh, just like that. Stick our cable in there and get it going. Try not to straight it here, like I was doing. That's not good. Mess 
Yup. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Say hello to the daughter. Huh? Hello. Hello, she said. We go in here and start the new carburetor. Like I said, when the, uh, my brother gave it to me, he said this was a new carburetor. He put it on there, used it a little bit, whatever, whatnot. Don't look brand new, but I just went ahead and put the brand new one on there since I had it anyway. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one because it's not bad. It just probably needs to be cleaned, and it needs a new gasket right here, which it didn't have. Now that I'm noticing, you had a gasket on the back with the little hole right there I was telling you about. So... We went ahead and put the new one on there, new, new one on there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and seal it up. Got all the hoses hooked up. Got the new gas tank installed, as y'all just seen. I'm going to put it all back together and see how it crank. Put the new fuel in there, see how the, how the cap works. Don't leak on me. If it works, beautiful, fine. Like I said, tell the daughter, hey. All right, guys, let's go ahead and put it all back together. Whew. Good thing about editing, there's a lot going on. I put the new carburetor on there. I was going to just use the old one, but since I had a new one and I noticed that it wasn't had gas on the old carburetor, go ahead and put the, I went ahead and put the new one on there. Really, the video was about putting this tank on there, and as you've seen that, put the tank on there. And just, uh, just some things. You might have a, a mindset of going in to do one thing, then you see another problem, then another problem, and then good thing about it, you don't get to see that. I deal with it, and I uh, go ahead and do the right thing. You know what I mean? So uh, let's do it. I put our top back on there. That's got good gaskets on it. It's on there already. That's probably why that didn't have a gasket, because this one already has a gasket on it. I'm not going to double gasket. You know what I mean? Not going to double gasket. That's probably why that second one didn't have one, because it's right here. This plate goes on there. That's a gasket right there. I could probably pull that off of here. But it's on there, so we'll leave it alone. All right, we take our air filter, put it on in there. My like such, boom, 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 boom. The other uh, one that's supposed to help a guy, that whatever they call that one, we call it, a, you know, a helper, helper L50. Boom, 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 boom. Put our shroud back on there. All it does is take two bolts. Make sure we put it on there, right? Okay, got one screw here. I got a little screw right there that I'm gonna put on. Make sure it's the right screws. Like I said, the other one's pretty long, so we are gonna. All right, got the new tank. We got the new carburetor on there. Hope you got to see that. I wasn't, you know, hindering the video to do that. Uh, we are gonna put that fuel back in here that I pulled out. Hopefully this, this one don't freaking leak. Let's do the leakage test. You better not leak. You leak, I'm sending you back. I can't send you back now, but I sure can, you know, you either write a bad review or tell Amazon, hey, let's send me something better. I got the same tank that's leaking like the old tank. I mean, all right, it looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and sip it fire up with the new carburetor on there, with the new tank on there. We got to prime it, we'll put it on tow, prime it up. About to be a witness, new tank, new carb, let's see.
right, guys and girls, you've seen the install of the tank. Put a new carburetor on there. It was a lot. It was a lot. But you seen the fire up on it. It worked pretty dang good. We got a we got a crank. Boom. Cranked it up. Fired up. Stayed idling. That's what I needed to know. Will it stay idling if I put the new carburetor on there plus the new fuel tank? That's where it's getting good fuel. I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably toss this one. We keep the cap, but toss this tank. Uh, normally, I keep things that's, that works, but just don't know much about this tank and why it's leaking the way it's leaking. You know, I don't know if it's the fuel cap. It could be the fuel cap. It looks like the fuel cap. Might not even keep that because it's just leaking real bad from this area. And I didn't want to deal with that when, uh, once I start booming. So I just went ahead and got a new one. These fuel caps are kind of on the sucky side of it. And I'm not lying. Uh, this one might leak eventually once, you know, start getting some wear and tear on it. And I just had to buy a new fuel cap. But I just went ahead and bought a whole new tank just because it was 15 bucks. And, uh... It works pretty good. New carburetor on it. Old carburetor. Nothing wrong with this carburetor. You've seen the last video. Go watch his card or the end of the description below. Uh, this one fired up pretty good. So there's nothing really wrong with the carburetor. It's just, you know, it's missing a uh, a high. Either that's the, I think that's the high and that's the low. It's missing a little knob on it to, to make it idle and do what it's supposed to do but it's not it's no biggie i just turn it with my fingers or on some pliers so this is a good carburetor just needs to be cleaned uh so i'm gonna go ahead and keep that uh fs 76 pro good trimmer i'm gonna use it this season you will see me using it that's a good thing about getting something for free put 30 bucks in it it works it runs and we're gonna keep doing things on this channel to make sure you know, stop throwing away trash when you can turn it into trash. Okay? So, MK's Lime Paradise. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Make sure if you like the video, you hit a uh, hit the like button. If you like anything about the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to it. If you have any opinions on what I was doing here, make sure you leave it in the comments and let me know so we can work together. So, free, put it together, works, runs. Ah,